All right, hey guys, it's January 21st. I'm getting a little later starting today. Two reasons, one, I had a doctor appointment today, but also I'm trying to see if, maybe I post at different times of day if it'll, I'm trying to get the numbers back up. Ever since we lost thousands and thousands of people on a certain platform, uh, that will remain nameless. We uh, not only had the video vlogs, uh, viewership uh, and shared gone down dramatically, but also our uh, podcast, vlogcast, vlogcast CLE. So I'm just going to encourage you guys, uh, please go to our website, flawedinc.com. Uh, make sure you share if you can. I, I appreciate it. I love the comments. I love conversing with you guys. I, I want to try to be real brief today. And today is an interesting day for me. It has a lot of personal historical significance and I think also it has uh, historical significance in regards to well, where we're at globally but I was thinking about something today and I was thinking about sexiness um, I even wore something better of a shirt that I just roll out of bed in uh, but um, I was thinking about what I think is sexy you know and I that's so uh, subjective, you know, different things for different people. I mean, personally, I think Bam Greer is gorgeous, but what I really, really think is sexy, what really, really gets me going is free speech. Uh, freedom of thought is gorgeous. I love the idea of when people have opinions that may differ and they're actually allowed to come together and have, uh, civil discourse and talk about things and share not just feelings but actual facts and data that gets me i love that stuff i think i think the declaration of independence is gorgeous i think it's so tantalizing i think the bill of rights the u.s constitution is the epitome of just elegance and absolute perfection of sexiness when it comes to the idea of self-governance. And that might be a concept that some of us haven't thought about before, the, the allure, or the appeal, the sexiness of being able to exchange on the free market of thought. However, I think we really need to consider that. I think we really need to consider what whether you are for or against, whether you have a, a popular opinion or whether you have a populous opinion right now, as it were, pay attention to what I said. Um, I think it's important that we come together and that's how we learn. If I've been challenged throughout all of my years with difference of opinions from people that some I respect, some I love, some I like, some I don't. But we don't grow and we don't evolve as a person, whether it be spiritually, emotionally, um, politically, Unless we are able to engage in thought or ideas contrary to where we are at. And that's any point in our life, even at this point in my life. So <clears throat> what I think is sexy, what I think is beautiful, other than Pam Greer, is free thought, free will. I think we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Maybe a certain person will hear that and remember that. But I think right now is the time for us to get in the arena and embrace and behold that beauty and that sexiness before it's gone forever.